Well, I am super excited today to be introducing you to my friend, Jerry Lundergan. He is the author of this amazing book, Hard Work and Goodwill, and also the accompanying course that goes with it. Now, what inspires me about Jerry is he is a man who, when he looks at a struggle or he looks at a challenge, he doesn't let it get him down. Instead, he just thinks about what can I do, given the situation I am in, to make things better. And Jerry, I just want to thank you so much for sharing your story with us and allowing me to record it so that I can maybe help some of your uh, course participants get to know you and learn a little bit more about you. So why don't you just start off by telling us where you grew up and where you're from? Thank you, Michael. Uh, I'm an old Kentucky boy, and uh, I grew up in Maysville, Kentucky, right on the Ohio River. Uh, that's where I spent all my childhood. Uh, was born, uh, you might say, on the on the uh, upper side of the, the poor side of the tracks. Okay, and uh, my family was uh, my mother and father were hardworking individuals who basically uh, worked very very hard to support myself and my my four brothers and sisters. So um, Maysville, of course, is real famous because it's the home of George Clooney and Rosemary Clooney. Rosemary was George's aunt. Uh, who was in the story White Christmas with Bing Crosby. So that's our claim to fame in Maysville, besides uh, living on the Ohio River. Well, they say that's the claim to fame, but I got to say what's really inspiring me about Maysville is not the celebrities that have come out of there, but the good, hardworking Americans that have figured out what it really takes to prosper in America, what it really takes to bring value to our communities, to our family, to serve God in, in, in a manner that, that inspires and teaches others. And, and so I would argue that what really came out of Maysville is the Lundergan family and the inspiration that they've gave to so many people, including me. So I, I, I give all credit to George Clooney, but my inspiration out of Maysville comes from Jerry Lundergan and the family that he has built. Well, you're very, very kind. You know, we're, I was very lucky, and so was my brothers and sisters, to be brought up by two strong parents who had a, a great work ethic, who taught us as children, you know, that you don't get anything for nothing. You have to work for it, and you have to, uh, you know, we were also brought up in a good Christian family. We're, we're Irish Catholics there on the Ohio River, and so my mother, you know, instilled in us the, the value of, of, of faith and, and how we have to keep focused on the Lord. And, and, you know, if you are, he will always take good care of you, no matter if you're on downs or highs. I mean, whatever pyramid you're on, uh, the, the Lord, if you believe in the Lord and focus in the Lord, he'll, he'll, he'll pull you out of most anything. Well, so we, Jerry, you know, we learn a lot, you know, from living in Maysville because of our small community. It's a very small town uh, of the people that were there. I had a lot of good mentors that, that I, associated myself with when I was a young fellow and and from that I was able to learn. Well you've told us and you've written extensively about about your life and some of the challenge that you have faced even growing up in Maysville and I know that when you were 18 years old you faced a challenge that that, that, that could have you know derailed a lot of people. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened when you were 18? Well, of course, I, when I was 18, I had just finished high school, had entered the University of Kentucky. And on my first spring break in March, uh, I came home and to, to work with my father in his uh, delicatessen uh, during spring break. And my father got sick, had a headache. And uh, so he, he went home and rested and got worse. And bottom line is we had to send him because he had started seeing double vision, we had to send him to the hospital in Lexington, Kentucky, which is the suburban hospital you would have to go to for serious illnesses, which is about 80 miles away from Maysville. And unfortunately, after 13 days, my father passed away. So that created a, a you know, the breadwinner of our family. We, we lost the leader of our family, the person that took care of us, we lost. And uh, it, it, it was, a uh, it was, it was, devastating well it was it was devastating because it wasn't as you said it was an entire family that lost the breadwinner and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your family I know that you you you, you care a lot about your siblings and, and your mother and uh, what what were the names of your uh, your brothers and sisters that were and how old were they when that happened 
Well, my, I have an older sister, Bonnie Jean, who's five years older than I am. And uh, so, you know, at the time I was 18 and she was 23 uh, when my father died. And then I have my, my second brother, Mike, uh, who is five years younger than I am. So uh, he would have been 13. And then my brother, Tom, would have been 12. And he, unfortunately, just passed away last June. Uh, and then my younger sister uh, was nine years old. So, um, you know, I left my mother, uh, who had been a, a, a homemaker and stayed home and took care of the children uh, while my father worked, uh, you know, we were, we were all just, uh, what are we going to do next? Well, you've given us in, in your book, Hard Work and Goodwill, the recipe for what it takes to, to, to encounter a struggle like that when you're living in a community without too much in the way of opportunity, but the way we look at the world sometimes influences what we can create in the world. And in this series of videos that we're going to include in your course, and it's a free course available at hardworkgoodwill.com, where people can learn the types of critical thinking skills that you've developed and the communication skills that you used so well to go on and build some of America's most prosperous and successful family-owned businesses that have created jobs for more than a thousand people. And I'm just so proud to have been able to learn from you, Jerry, and through this series of videos that your audience can watch, I hope that they can get to know you and learn from you and get inspired by you just as I have. You are the secret to being resilient, Jerry, and I just love you, and I want to thank you so much for sharing your story with me and, and, and allowing me to take this story into prisons across America so that more people can learn how hard work and goodwill can lead to prosperity. Well, thank you, Michael. I just, it's my, my hope that if my little book and, and my ideas and the way I've done things uh, for 73 years, if it can help somebody else, this, is, this has been a worthwhile cause. And, and God bless everybody that, that takes the time to read it. Well, we're going to do it. We're going to create these videos, a series of five, three-minute videos to just share the principles. So stick with us and make sure that you tune in to hardworkgoodwill.com so that you can learn more about the amazing story of Jerry Lundergan and the Lundergan family. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. He Have is the epitome day. of being resilient. Thank you, buddy.